welcome back my two three viewers <laughs> um this week's video um i always think i don't have an an english i don't have an accent when i speak until i hear myself on video and then i realize i can't say w's correctly um this week <laughs> we're gonna talk about um what type of gay men to avoid and I'm gonna be counting them down from uh, fifth rule number one worst type of guy to avoid if you can because these are the type of guys who will be nothing but drama and heartache and stupidity and time not spent better on something else so number five I am calling this the straight bi man. Um, these are the type of guys that, you know, they're always like, oh, I'm straight. I'm just curious this one time. Meanwhile, you know that they've been fucked 12 million times by anything that moves. You know, they, you barely get them in the car or the apartment or whatever. And they pull down their pants and bend over and they're like, I'm straight, I'm straight, you know, this whole like... And it's basically guys who, they, they cannot commit, they just can't accept the fact that they're gay. And they have to hold on to this whole, I'm straight, I'm bi thing, I'm dating a girl. Meanwhile, I constantly go out and get fucked by somebody. <clears throat> um, so, you know, do yourself a favor and avoid these guys because you're not going to get anything out of them. Unless, hey, maybe all you're looking for is a hookup. Which, in that case, hey, this is exactly the guy you want to go for. Uh, number four on the list, I'm calling the fashion expert gone wrong. Um, this is the guy who cares so much about fashion, all this kind of stuff, and will do nothing the whole time but criticize you on your fashion and be like, why, what are you wearing? Why are you wearing this? Why aren't you wearing this? This is the, this is the clothes I'm in right now, but usually you walk around looking like a complete mess, because... Everything on them is too much pattern, too much color, too many zippers, too much this, too much that, and they think they're amazing and they know all this stuff about fashion and stuff. Meanwhile, they're just a big mess themselves. So, you know, wear what you want, do what you want. Fashion is completely objective, as everybody knows. You don't have to buy the most expensive jeans that are out there. You don't have to... Um, have the newest shirt, you know, and all this kind of stuff. Because, you know, fa it's going to be in for one week and then it's going to be on. Then you have a closet full of crap that you're never going to wear again. So it's kind of a waste of money. And it's kind of a waste of time to be out with somebody like that. Because, like I said, all they're going to do the whole time is, you know, criticize what you wear and tell you you're not being fashionable enough and such. Number three. I don't think I did four. Number three. <laughs> um... Um, number three, I'm calling Mr. Product. There's so many Mr. Products in the gay community. It's, it's I mean, it, it's crazy. It, Mr. Product to me is the, spend 45 minutes in the bathroom making sure that every eyebrow is perfectly, it's like, everything has to be completely perfectly plucked. And the hair has to be exactly right. Like, you know, not a single hair can be out of place. You know, they have, they're the ones that make their beard be, like, completely perfect like this and has to come over, you know, and, and, and just bronzer and just, you know, Mr. Product. And, the, and these guys you want to avoid because, A, why would you want to go on a date with somebody that when you reach over to try, like, give them a kiss or want to touch their hair, they're like, don't touch my hair, you know, or don't give me a kiss, you're going to mess up this, or... You know, they're constantly checking themselves in the mirror. And it's like, if, you have, if, if, you're, if you're going out with somebody and you're spending more time thinking about how you look and what your hair is doing versus thinking about what the other person is looking like or what they're doing when you're with them, then that's a pretty sad date. And it's been my experience, and this is a huge pet peeve of my own, that so many gay men, especially these Mr. Products, usually spend so much time making sure that their face is immaculate, and a lot of them, yeah, a lot of them, like, you know, perfect face, looks gorgeous, but then, dirty ass hands, or like, you know, don't clean their fingernails, or a lot of times, or I notice a lot in the gay community, 
is, you know, taking so much time on your hair and making sure that you have like the perfect body and wearing the nicest clothes. And then you look at their feet and they haven't washed their feet in fucking six months. And I'm not saying that I'm like, I don't have a foot fetish or anything, but I'm kind of like, I think it's better to have overall health and overall maintenance of your body. Maybe not be completely extreme about, you know, having to have perfect eyebrows, but on the other hand, making sure that every part of my body is actually clean. So, number three, Mr. Product. And number two, to avoid, I'm calling Night at the Roxbury. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else saw that movie, but it's the... It's the non-ending party guy. You know, there, there's a, there comes a time in your life where I think you should learn to redo your priorities. And, then, you know, if when you're in your mid to late 30s, pushing 40 and beyond, and you're going out every weekend, and you're taking off your shirt in the club, which I'll probably do a video on myself because I think that's the most disgusting thing ever. When, when like, if you're past 23, 24, and you're taking your shirt off in the club, eh, fail. Um, and it doesn't matter how amazing your body is. It's just kind of like, you know, come on. Just grow up. Um, and yeah, I mean, at, I'm not saying that once you hit like 35, 36 or whatever, you should just like completely stop um, going out or whatever. But it's kind of like you, it could be, you know, hey, this is the weekend once a month or once every two months while I go out. But it's like if you're consistently going out every single weekend at 35, I'm sorry, but you probably have some priorities that need mending. And number one, number one, this is, if, no, if you don't get anything else out of this video, this is the number one gay man you need to avoid, and that's the gym rat. If you go out on a date with somebody and the first thing they tell you or ask you is, where do you work out? Or how much do you bench press? Or what kind of supplements are you using? Or any, it's just kind of like, dude, just cut your ties right then and there. Don't even try to make conversation. It doesn't matter how great their body is. This guy has nothing going on up here. I mean, it's kind of like, if, if, if you are willing to break a date because you want to go to the gym, dude, priorities are really, really wrong. And, you know, and, and the worst part is that it's always the same bullshit lie. I just want to be healthy. You do not have to go to the gym six days a week, two hours each, deny yourself of anything that's fried, any kind of sweets, whatever, to be healthy. That is the biggest lie and like it needs to quit. You are just one person who's completely obsessed with your body that's totally shallow and again just like Mr. Fashion Expert and Mr. Product, all they will do is nag and nitpick at your own. If you like I don't have the perfect body, I've never had the perfect body, I'm not like majorly obese or anything, but I'm definitely not like, you know, gym rat, and I'm fine with how I look, and I don't need to go on a date with somebody who's constantly like, oh, you would look so much better if you just, you know, were buffer, or, you know, you were a little thinner, or whatever, it's just kind of like, why do you want to put yourself through that, like, learn to love yourself how you are, and just cut your ties, just let that guy go, I know a lot of times they're great to look at, but... Seriously, you'll do a lot better with somebody who's got a little more going on, who can think beyond, you know, what's my body mass index, and, you know, how often do I have to go to the gym and make sure I have the perfect muscle tone? Like, you deserve better. So, yep, that's my top five, top five to avoid, and, you know, hopefully this video helped somebody out, and good luck to you all.